Hello everyone, it's Alicia. Welcome to another What's for Dinner on WW Personal Plan. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you what we had for dinner this week, and I'm also gonna be showing you what my personal points were for these meals. But down in the description box below, I'm gonna have links to the full recipe videos that I have done on a couple of these meals previously. And in those videos, you will find the full instructions, ingredients, and also links to my recipe builder, where if you click on that link and you're a WW member, it's gonna show you what your personal points are for that recipe. The one recipe in here that I don't have a full video on, I'll go ahead and list its ingredients, instructions, and have a link for it too. But all the information that you need is gonna be down in the description box of this video. So let's get started and see what we had for dinner this week. First up is shepherd's pie. This is kind of a family favorite of ours. I've been making this for years, but I typically only make it during the fall and winter because it is a nice comfort food when the weather is colder. This starts with getting some potatoes steaming, which I've got there. And then over here in a large pan, I'm gonna start my ground turkey browning. I'm also gonna add some mushrooms to that. Typically I use onions, but this time I thought I'd go with mushrooms. I'm gonna add a little fresh ground pepper to it and get that all cooking until that turkey is browned and those mushrooms are softened. And then next, once your turkey is browned, and I don't have this footage because I thought I was recording and I wasn't, you're gonna add in a little bit of flour, some rosemary and thyme, and just let that cook for a minute or so. And then at that point, you're gonna add in some chicken broth and just stir everything together really well and let that simmer for a couple minutes. And while that is simmering and thickening up a little bit, I'm gonna move on to my potatoes over here, which are now steamed. And to them, I'm gonna add a little bit of Brummel and Brown this stuff right here, it's just a light butter spread. And then I'm gonna add in some fat-free Greek yogurt. You could use fat-free sour cream if you want also. Then I'm also gonna add in a little bit of fresh ground pepper, some salt, and then I'm gonna just mash them up really well until they're nice and smooth and creamy. Back over at my meat mixture, I'm gonna add in a bag of frozen mixed vegetables, and I'm gonna just stir those in real well. Then in a nine by nine inch pan, I'm gonna pour my meat mixture in there and spread it out evenly. Next, I'm gonna take my mashed potatoes. I'm gonna lay them on top here and then I'm going to try to evenly spread them out, which is a little tricky because they tend to kind of push down into the meat mixture, but just kind of spread them out the best you can and as evenly as you can. And then once that is done, I'm gonna bake this in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. And this is what it looks like when it is done. And here's a serving of that, which is a sixth of the total. For me, this is six points. As I said before, this is definitely one of our favorites and one I've been making for a really long time because it is just very, very good. It really hits the spot when you're looking for kind of that warm comfort food during the cold weather, which we are sort of having now. But yeah, definitely very good stuff and one that I would recommend. And not too bad point-wise, honestly, for six points for us. Next up is crock pot potato soup. Now I have shown this a couple times in other videos, but I haven't done a specific video just for this one. So I'll go ahead and put its ingredients and instructions down below in this video, instead of linking to a recipe video that I've done previously on this one. Anyway, this is very, very good stuff. It's not only really good, but it is very easy. It's a crock pot soup. You literally just throw everything in, set it and forget it and you end up with just a very, very flavorful, delicious soup. And this again is one I like to make when it's cooler out. So this has been one I've already made several times this year. Along with that, we also had some air fryer bagels. I have done a video on these, so I will go ahead and link that up above and down below as well. So this starts with your crock pot. And as I said before, you're gonna just dump everything in here, starting with your chicken broth, some chopped red onion, and then here I've got a bag of hash browns. This is 30 ounces. 
a can of low fat cream of chicken soup, a little fresh ground black pepper, and then you're gonna just stir all of that together really well. And then finally, I'm gonna add a block of a third less fat cream cheese to this. And then I'm gonna just put the lid on it, set it to low, and let it cook for about six hours. And that is all there is to it. Very, very simple. Here's what it looks like when it is done. And here I have a serving of it, which is about one and a half cups. This makes about eight one and a half cup servings. For me, it is six points. I went ahead and added a little green onion to this. I used to add a little bit of cheese and bacon, but I'm not doing it this time just because of the points. That would get it a little too high. And then over here, I've got some air fryer bagels. We're gonna be having these with the soup too. These are so good. As I said before, I will link the recipe video for those up above and down below. Those for us are four points a piece, which makes our dinner total for tonight 10 points. Our last meal for the week was this chicken noodle casserole. This is another kind of family favorite. It's another kid-friendly one as well, just like the other two actually were. They're all very kid-friendly, at least with my kiddo. This one is kind of a classic comfort food and also satisfies that pasta craving if you're having one. This starts with cooking some whole wheat pasta. So I've got my boiling water there and getting that cooked. While your pasta is cooking, you're gonna take a large bowl and add in some chopped boneless skinless chicken breasts, a couple bags of mixed veggies, some milk, some fat-free plain Greek yogurt. You could use sour cream if you want. A couple cans of low-fat cream of chicken soup, a little fresh ground black pepper, you could add salt if you want also. And then you're gonna just stir all that together really well. Then you're gonna add in your cooked pasta and stir that in really well. Once you've got that all stirred together, you're gonna take a 13 by nine inch pan, spray it with a little cooking spray, pour in your pasta mixture and spread it out evenly in the dish. Then you're gonna bake at 400 for about 25 minutes. And at that point, you're going to add some cheese to the top, now I forgot actually to add my Parmesan cheese in to this like you were supposed to, or I usually do. So this time I just added my Parmesan to the top as well with the other cheese. And then I went ahead and just baked this for another five minutes or so until that cheese was nice and melted like this. And here is a serving of that, which is an eighth of the total. And for me, that is five points. We ended up just having this alone since it had veggies and stuff in it. So dinner for us was five points tonight. And that was everything we had for dinner on WW this week. I hope maybe this gave you guys some ideas. And as I said in the beginning, I will have all the information for these meals down in the description box of this video. Thank you guys as always for watching and I will see you on the next one.